Hello everybody, welcome back here to some more Madden. I'm going to do an Ultimate Team game here, but I do want to release an update video and I feel that I need to change some things since I'm not going to be doing many videos anymore. Like, I don't want to quit, but I can't make this a priority over my grad school stuff. So, I'm going to make an update video, and I kind of have things maybe a little planned, but I want to put everything together in one video. But anyways, right now I wanted to do a game here online. And for some reason, the commentary don't seem very loud for some reason. Let's see here. Volume. Okay. Uh, Still, what the frick? Here, let me turn this up. On a laptop. Alright. I think that should be good. Hopefully. Okay, let's play our game here. Hopefully EA servers put me up against a fair opponent instead of someone who is like 80 overall. I can't do anything against them. But we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, my, I don't know. I watched the la video I did the la last week, the fantasy draft. It seemed my, like my voice was a little low. Yeah, we'll see how it goes here. Yeah, maybe, who knows, maybe I can do a little bit of streaming or something. I think. Don't think I have to set up my equipment for that on the Xbox. Alright, here we go. Let's turn this up. And now we get a peek at right. the top players here for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup. Brandon Gaw and Charles here. Davis ready Come to on. go. Be a fair point. And it's not, of course. Let's play. It's almost pointless to play online here in Ultimate Team. I have to say. Freaking ridiculous. Well, I'll try. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken at the. I don't point. know how successful I'm going to be. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Ah, uh, see here. gonna be retarded he has like a super freaking team and I got like nobodies <laughs> that stupid EA servers it's a can put me up against someone make it second and ridiculously four. difficult let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield success on first down huge difference as we know between second and four and second and eight and nine Oh, come on, get him. Dang it. Come on, man. Good for 16, and the drive will continue. That O line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only they're controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third level. Uh, you know, get to linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. they will try to continue that trend here this afternoon. Oh my god. That is Jesus! I can't even do anything because my. <laughs> he has like 90 overall offensive linemen and I have like 60 overall defensive linemen. Come on. I'm seeing guys get six, seven yards downfield before there's even a hint of contact. They'll run it now out of the gun. And a short gain down to about the 33. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. Right 
They'll try the air now with Stafford. Throw right side. To Come on. Wallace. We'll give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of down. You really have to throw drag routes on my team? Up for a first down because when you really? run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Now a handoff here to his running back, and he'll keep it moving down to the 15-yard line. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. Offense in a good spot here, second and two. They'll run it now, out of the gun. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. I haven't met a defense coordinator yet that thinks second and two is a fun situation to try and defend. Playbook is wide open for an offense, partner. Nice job. Hold him to one after that eight-yard pickup on first down. It's been a seven-play opening drive, and this is third and short. They'll run it now. Ah. Give him a gain of four, able to convert, and that sets up first and goal now. It's so important that you keep an opening drive going because you want to set the tempo right away. And you and I both know you can't set a tempo if you're punting the football away. Yeah, maybe early. Don't want to be too over the top, but you're right. Big third down conversion. And it's first and goal now, but still 10 yards to go. Pushing through the contact. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Give him three on the game there. Second and goal. I once had a defensive player in the NFL tell me, if I beat and dominate the guy across from me, I'm helping my team. Okay. Well, winning one-on-one -on -one battles okay. is always a part of the game. But when you have good team defense, as we just saw there, of one broken tackle, but he didn't get away because the rest of the guys arrived to put him on the ground. And here now it's second and goal, ball on the seven-yard line. Yeah. In the corner, but they string him out and stop him at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something right. better here on third and goal. Can this defense get the stop on the opening drive? Here's third and goal. Out of the gun, Stafford. Come on. Now he's flushed out right. He can run for and he will Are you kidding me? Really? Matthews. I hate how the AI just stands there. Seven yards away. And his guys have taken a first corner lead. That's just a solid wow. methodical that was drive. Come on. Game. And how about Wish the AI was a little smarter exactly than that. To do, getting the ball downfield and then running it into the end zone. I'm just telling you, partner, when you run it in rather than throw it in. That hurts a defense psychologically a heck of a lot more. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. room here as he only gets it to about the 30. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. That's someone who's pretty happy right there. That's the defense coordinator. Body after body getting to him before he can get started. Prescott now on second down. And he gets it to Bolden. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, it's the Patriots in possession right, to begin quarter number here. two. And they've got it here with a first down. Dang it. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. 
Calling no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Boy, that's a lot of sirloin steak to be taken down for no gain, partner. <laughs> Are you trying to suggest that he is a huge man? He is Not a just big, a big man, big, a huge big, man. Big, big boy. Well, how about the credit then for the defense to be able to chop that big tree and put him on the ground? I know back when you played, it took four of you to take right. a guy like that so, down, right? Yeah. Well, that's for sure. And you know what, know what else? I didn't want to challenge him at dinner either. <laughs> And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Shine. He'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Give him nine on the play, and that'll bring up a third and one. Prescott. It's a short one complete to his tight end. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Now they'll run it on the toss. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Okay. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. A second down throw for Cross. Oh, my God. That's coming, and down he goes. Bernardrick McKinney. Coming on the blitz, he gets him for a loss of seven. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Damn, yeah, nice ball. Just let it go. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We're back to East Rutherford, but first this time out. Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. What the heck? The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. <sighs> he came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. Oh, my God. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. So out now comes the offense back onto the field. Now they'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one that resulted in seven points in the seven-zip lead. Well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say when you run into big-time races. It means they get out to a fast start. They're setting the pace, making the other team chase now. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Get this up only to about the 33. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out. Wow. The but I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go oh, my God, man. A really nice gain of 25 yards. I, I just want to show you guys this. This is how stupid EA servers are, or their matchmaking. Okay, look at this. Quarterback. That's mine. Here's his. Oh, look at that. Halfback. Okay, I think our halfbacks are the same, pretty much. Yeah. Fullback. And mine's actually better. <laughs> wide receiver. Here's my wide receivers. Here's his. Been stupid. Here's my tight end. Here's his. My left tackle. His left tackle. My left guard. 
his left guard. My center. His center. Get my point. Left end. That's mine. Okay, we have the same one there. Right end. Oh. Defensive tackle. Oh. It's freaking stupid. Linebackers. Middle linebacker. Cornerback. Of course he's gonna win this. It's freaking retarded. Certainly doesn't run like one, and that's what more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. They'll run it now out of the gun. And an alley to run. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Uh, this is complete garbage, man. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, gotta like the way they're moving. The Pats are gonna get there, down he goes. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing on third down, Stafford. Buying time to his... Oh, a hit. He lost the football. Stafford ah. it on the ground. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because Let me guess. This is going to be another douchebag who goes for it on fourth Everyone down. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually yep. the That's what I figured. Downfield or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. They snap it to Stafford, and that is going to be incomplete. A fourth down pass play doesn't work out, and the Patriots defense is going to take over on downs. On first and ten, Prescott, they'll try and set up the screen, it's complete. And a 42-yard line here brought down there. And before the second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Second down, Prescott. God dang it! Bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. He was trying to get it to Cecil Shorts that time, and that'll make it third down. But one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. And he comes back with one complete. Nah. And we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. Prescott on first down. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. Nice. The way in. Touchdown, New England. A great play there. In the final seconds of the first half. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. All right, here we go. This will be fielded at the eight. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The Patriots offense now. They work their way back onto the field. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. 
And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. A first down throw for Prescott. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And down he goes. Yeah. And takes it up to the 40. 14 yards is the pickup there on a New England first down. Ah, dang it. But he's corralled just beyond the 40. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Second down following the run. Prescott. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. New England on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and four. Now Prescott. You! Freaking moron! See what I mean? Those freaking wide receivers. Oh, they suck. Cause I got 50 overall. Come on. I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears. God, if I had this guy's team, I'd be killing him. Can't believe he even let it tie up. Taking it about the 16. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and possession will switch hands first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Their defense did its job, yielded no points. Now it's the offense's turn. And how much fun is that when you set things up to start a half, and you just tell you guys, hey, if you can shut them down, get it back for our offense, we can roll. And they played out perfectly. Now, can the offense do what they wanted to do at the half, which is find those weaknesses and now attack them and score some points. And break this tie. That's into the hands of Wallace over the middle. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body. Uh, nice! Yes! Good positioning, and it's picked off. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. This is such a good read defensively. They know that this offense is going to try to get the ball to their playmaker in space. So what do they do? They crowd him and send bodies at him. And this one winds up being intercepted. And he'll give it here to his running back. Space to run. Yes. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15. That good for 22 and a first down. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. First down, Prescott. This will be caught just inside the 10. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. That throw good for four. It's second down. Some of my linemen would actually freaking attempt to block. 
They play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. Prescott from the gun on third. What the freak was that? The strong window is a lot tighter. Come on. Don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception. You come Stupid. Especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. So the drive takes him inside the 10, but it ends with just three. And a nice job defensively to rise up and make sure they didn't get in. This will be fielded at the six. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Now this offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Welcome back now here in East Rutherford. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. All right, here we go. To throw on second down is Stafford. Oh, my God. Really? the slam. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Tough day. Tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. Here's Stafford now on second down. It's a short oh, come on. Are you freaking kidding me? There he goes left side. Touchdown. A big play there. 47 yards. And his guys have taken the lead here in the fourth. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. This is taken at the three. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Hey, nice. Take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Patriots have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. And he's got it up and through. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Now, maybe I scored a little bit too quickly there. <laughs> Just shy of the 10 here. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. 
Out comes this offensive unit as they get set to take over here. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. On first and 10, Nine. Stafford. Flush to his right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that's caught. Oh, my God. And he takes it all the way down to the 28-yard line. And what a big-time play there. Come on, man. Even 40 yards. And, of course, the quarterback in this situation, he's realizing time is becoming a factor. Let's see if they can get some points on the board here late. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing... Oh, what the frick? <laughs> wow, are you freaking kidding me? Wow. What the heck just happened there? Turn this down so I don't want to copyright at the end. Do I get a win there at least? It says your previous game is still being processed by EA, so your estimated processing time is three minutes. What the freak? Are you serious? Wow, are you freaking serious? Wow. Well, who knows what would have happened in that game. Freaking EA servers and their suckiness.